secretary down there, and they've got the job currently posted right now, and I believe they're getting ready to do um, interviews for that job. The final thing that we did was uh, rescind um, a past um, $8,000 supplement for that position, and we posted it back with 230 days um, and a $2,000 supplement. The days were more important to Mr. Stearns than than the the contract itself, the the supplement. So it got a small supplement with more days, and then we we adjourned and we had. Um, what did we have uh, for lunch? The pro start cooked us lunch, and it was a um, a New Delicious Orleans food. dish. It was a New <laughs> Orleans dish. I'm I, I'm coming up. I'm coming up with a blank with what it was, but um, overall it was a uh, good meeting and and. We did discuss at the very end of the meeting, our meeting that we will be having there on the 16th and needing a room and the availability for their linkage meeting to run our board meeting, which will be laying the levy. It just happens to fall on the same day. And that'll be at the Calhoun Gilmer Career Center. All right. If there's no further reports, that'll move us into the consent agenda and we'll start with the minutes. Anyone need to take these separately for anything? Do them all at once. Go ahead, get them all at once. Uh, make a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of March 11th, uh, the minutes of the special meeting of March 4th, the approval of the minutes of the special levy meeting March 11th, and approval of the minutes of the special calendar meeting on March 11th, 2024. Second. Okay. It's been properly moved and seconded to approve all of those minutes listed. <coughs> Um, and mentioned. Is there any further discussion or amendments to that main motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All righty. We'll then move on to the treasurer's report. And Ms. Altizer, you have the floor. Just to just yeah. sketch, yeah. yeah. Yes, I think we presented to you all the texts to be written. Um, I didn't see anything that needed an explanation, but did anyone have any questions? And we also included the last schedule of checks to be written. We didn't, um, for some reason, that we had an oversight on that, so it's on this one. Yeah. So I make a motion to approve the schedule of checks to be written from this meeting and last meeting. Second. Okay. It's been properly moved and seconded to approve the schedule of checks from this meeting and from the previous meeting. Is there any further discussion or amendments to that main motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All righty. We'll move into open enrollment. Dr. Manning. All right. We have, let me get over here, open enrollment. Two students. Um, that should be approved for open enrollment. Um, Jenna Garrett and Elizabeth Garrett, sixth and seventh grade students from Calhoun. And we, you know, we don't get these very often, but we've gotten a few during the winter time. <clears throat> and um, my recommendation would be to approve those. So moved. Second. Okay. It's been properly moved and seconded to approve the superintendent's recommendation on open enrollment. Um, is there any further discussion or amendments to that main motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All right. And we will move down now into new business and start with the out of state field trip request form. Dr. Manning. All right, this, um, of course, um, the request is to attend Columbus Zoo on April 19th and um, you know this is if we can get bus drivers of course and we really hope that we can and we're trying to remedy that uh, we're very hopeful we're going to get some of the bus drivers that have been ill back in the next few um, weeks so hopefully we can do this this is going to be the the Gilmer County Elementary Honors Club and this is to celebrate students with a 3.5 GPA or higher for the 2023-24 school year so this is kind of the end of the year um, uh, reward kind of honor trip. 
Make a motion to approve the uh, GCES Honor Club uh, travel to Columbus Zoo on April 19th, 2024. Is there a second? Second. second. All right. It's been properly moved and seconded uh, to approve the out-of-state field trip request for the Gummer County Elementary School Honor Club to Columbus Zoo. Is there any further discussion or amendments to that main motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All right. That'll be a fun trip. Let's see. Now we're going to approval of the 2024-2025 school calendar. Dr. Manning. And this is the same calendar that you've got there uh, in front of you that we proposed, and we put it out on public comment, and I think that it's a very good calendar. Um, I think that it's going to provide a lot of opportunity for us to get professional learning, but also give us uh, a, a time for rest and relaxation throughout the year. Uh, there was a two-week break at Christmas and so forth, so I recommend making a motion to approve the proposed 2024-2025 school year calendar. So moved. Second. Okay. It's been properly moved and seconded to accept the superintendent's recommendation on the approval of the proposed 2024-2025 school calendar. Is there any further discussion or amendments to that main motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All right. There is no old business. We will move down to personnel, and I move pursuant to uh, West Virginia Code 6-9A-4 subsection 2 of the West Virginia Code that the board go into executive session to discuss personnel and personnel matters, which if discussed in public might affect adversely the reputation of any person. Second. All right. It's been properly moved and second to go into executive session. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries.
Okay. All right. Do we have a motion to rise from executive session? So moved. All right. Is there a second? Second. All right. It's been properly moved and seconded to rise from executive session. Any further discussion or amendments to that motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All right. So we're going to move down the agenda again a little bit out of order and go to superintendent's information um, update we, on the... We still have to approve the personnel. Oh, that back yeah, up. Still, I'm done messed yeah, up. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, so all right, we're back to personnel and Dr. Bain, you can start with um, professional. Uh, professional recommendation, um, hire Emily Barr, substitute teacher, Gilmer County Schools. Make a motion to approve the professional section of the personnel agenda. Second. Okay, so then probably moving to second to approve the professional section of the personnel agenda. Any further discussion or amendments to that main motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All right, and we'll go to extracurricular. Extracurricular, we have Elena Rhodes, um, recommendation literacy math tutor, summer school. William Frederick, itinerant custodian, summer school. Katrina Frederick Howes, resignation after school tutor, GCHS, effective 3 13 of 24. Jacob Persinger, resignation, mini Titan, assistant baseball coach, effective 3 20 24. Make a motion to approve the extracurricular portion of the personnel agenda. Second. All right, been properly moved and seconded to approve the extracurricular portion of the personnel agenda. Is there any further discussion or amendments to that main motion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Motion carries. All right. That will take care of personnel. Now I can do what I tried to do a minute ago. All right, now we're to superintendent's information update on the JAM program and any further updates. Dr. Benny. Um, been requested to give an update on JAM, um, the Junior Appalachian Music uh, Program. Right now we have um, eight students. Um, there are still a few students that are coming in, and, 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 and we, we'll probably be close to 10, which is really all we can really handle with one instructor at the, at the time. Um, the student's level is beginner. We have, a, we have a couple students. Alina Gray has done very well. Um, she seemed to pick up the fiddle just really fast, and she's even played it at church, I've heard. Um, they've got two, there's about two or three tunes they're working on right now. Our goal was to play at the Folk Festival. Um, we got a long ways to go, <laughs> but we're going to make it. We're, we're going to make it. Um, we got some really talented musicians there. Um, there are some kids that are picking it up. These are the first time they've had the instruments in their hands. And, and, and yes, you can hear the tunes they're playing. Um, so they, they have made, um, good progress. Um, we hope to do at the end of April, we hope to schedule a square dance tutorial for the community. And this is for everybody that would like to come and actually learn um, and learn before Folk Fest, of course. And, um, and then we also hope to do an end of the year, a May concert where we um, expose our kids to some master class musicians and get them on the stage and let them play their two or three tunes to get them kind of cycled into that. So we've had some success. I will be interested to see um, in the fall if we get the same participation or if it dwindles or what. Of course, if it dwindles, we'll we'll do something differently. But I, I we're going to be able to play some tunes. I think a couple. You know, I talked we're to, to Alina. Be... She was very pleased. She was excited. Yeah, she's pro she's got the base. She's going to learn the basics. I mean, she's a senior, and we're trying to get some younger kids yeah. so we can have them for a few years. But like, she's going to learn how to play the fiddle mm -hmm. right now. So yes. it's it's. I mean, she's got two or three tunes down. So um, last week, David O'Dell came and he sat in on our session, and we talked about what we can do um, to improve. And we also have a council meeting where we're probably going to make the discussion. And probably call Dr. Barr and say, "Can we schedule sometime in May to use um, your facility?" We're we're getting close where we think we might be able to have a concert. We don't know just exactly yet, but it's um, they came a long ways. I believe it. We've had three full sessions in one session. The first day was kind of a sign up day, so we've had three full sessions, and they can play two tunes, almost three. So they're getting it down. Okay. 
good. Right. Other updates that I have, um, uh, you know, we've we've got we're in the midst of personnel season that will be put before you on the on the eighth. Um, we're wrapping up with the Neola process. We've got um, to get most of those will be marked first draft completed. The, the process is working its way through. Um, we have several things on the agenda coming up. We've got to lay the levy and those types of things I've been giving you in the updates that the community should know about. And uh, other than that, we, we are plugging right along. Um, one of the things that I wanted to remind you and we need to do is um, the self-reflection and the superintendent evaluation. We need to get that done pretty soon um, within the next month or two. All right. If that's everything that Dr. Many has, we'll move into board member comments and start with Dr. Barr. No comments. Okay. Dr. Mr. Fresher. No comments. Dr. Miller. Just want to thank everyone for working hard, helping our kids learn. Well, Mr. Chapman. No comments. All right. I don't have anything. Um, so at this time, I'd like to make a motion that we recess um, for five minutes in preparation of our expulsion hearings. Is there a second? Second. Okay, it's been properly moved and seconded to recess for five minutes uh, to prepare for expulsion hearings. Or any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? We are recessed.